Hey, beautiful people, it's Dr. Bacon, and today we're going to take a couple sweet basil plants that have rooted in water and move them over to soil. So there's lots of ways you can um, move a plant that's been rooted in water into soil. Uh, one is just stuffing it into some soil and just stuffing the root ball and co covering it in soil. Another is to cut the uh, root ball back and plant that, but we're going to do something different today. So we're going to support it in a, in a solo cup. I have two here. I'm going to support them in a solo cup and add a little soil to the bottom, set them in there, fill them with water and add a little soil to the top. Each day I'm going to pour out some soil, rather pour out some water and add a little more soil. I'm using some Roots organic soil. It's good quality soil. It's about $15 for a cubic foot and a half. And I'm going to put in just a little soil on the bottom of this. Then I'm going to moisten it. Now we're starting with cups with no holes in the bottom. Anytime I grow, I have holes in the bottom of my pots or cups. Oh, this is a cracked, <laughs> cracked water cup. A little bit of water there and mix the knees. We've, st we've stood up the uh, sweet basil now in the pots with a little soil at the bottom and some water. Then we're going to add a little, uh, a little more water just so the roots are covered. And we're going to add a little more soil. Kind of slurry that around. So they're just really in very wet soil today. And we're just going to um, leave them like that. Come back tomorrow. We're going to run off a little more water. Add a little more soil. So here we are at day two. And we're, it's uh, almost the end of the day. I'm going to split this container of soil. And there's still liquid in there. I'm just going to slurry this around a little bit and let it soak up. And then after a few minutes, we're going to pour some of this water off. But for now, we're just going to let it soak up. Here are our plants after a few days. I just topped them yesterday. They've already split and made some new tops and obviously I don't need these ties anymore. And then if we take a peek inside, we should see some nice roots form. Let's take a look. So this will be going into our ground, into our garden, but there you go. So we're all set. This is ready to be put in a bigger pot. Or, in our case, uh, we're going to put it in the garden. Hey guys, thanks for following along for a few days, but that's a, that's a patient way to repot a plant that was rooted in water to soil. And it takes a couple days, but it's worth it. And look how happy our basil plants are, our sweet basil. Hey, if you um, are interested, I have other content, um, all different kinds of content, so maybe check it out and like and subscribe if that makes you happy. Have a super day, and thanks for checking out my, uh, my video about repotting. Mm -hmm.